Many young designers rush into setting up a business attracted by the perceived glamour and fun that is associated with the fashion industry. It is not as glamorous as it sounds. Running a fashion business means that packing boxes at 2 a.m., steaming clothes over and over again, and pouring through receipts with an accountant will become part of your routine. You will likely spend less than 10% of your time designing, while the rest of the time you will be managing production, sending clothes to magazines, dealing with suppliers and more. There is the feeling of when a fresh designer comes out, the feel when I pay to this fashion institution or that fashion house, I would automatically become a fashion designer. Actually, it doesn't work that way. There's a long gap between my actual registration in whatever institution I'm going to and the process of actually learning it and becoming a professional. It's a whole gap. The reason why I'm saying that is some people come and then at the end of two months they're frustrated. They're like, oh, I didn't believe this is going to be as hard as this. I didn't think it was this difficult. Yes, it's going to be difficult, but as long as you don't stop and the word practice make perfect, yes, it's very applicable to fashion design. If you do not practice what you're learning, you're not going to make it. type that would skip classes and go to a roadside tailor very close to our house. Uh, her name is Atijoke. So I used to go to Atijoke's place, spend the day with her. When I see my mates coming back home from school, I'll join them and go back home. And that was what I was doing until results came out and of course <laughs> they discovered I wasn't attending school and my parents had to make me promise that I would go to school during the day the morning hours and then close from school and go to Antigua care in the evening. So that was how I solved the problem. But when did I get to know it to be a fashion designer now going into as far back as seven, eight years old? Valerie Boglo's first paid job was making a wedding dress alongside six bridal train dresses. She was 15. Prior to this time, she made all her dresses with needle and thread because she had no sewing machine at home, except she uses the one at her training center only when a madame isn't around. That money was later used to get her first sewing machine. Interestingly, she still uses that sewing machine to date at home. I used to use my mommy's wrapper to make dresses for my dolls. Okay? But the very first major one, ah, in fact, <laughs> I still look back now and I laugh at the design. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> but back then, it, it, it was this lady in my service and she wanted to do her wedding and she asked me to do it. And I was like, ah, me, are you sure I can do it? But I didn't want to show her I couldn't because I had mastered the act of making dresses for myself alone. It's different from now when you want to now take on a client and start working for a client. But because of the way they see me wear clothes, they're like, ah, you can make it, don't worry, do it like this, do that. So I collected it and that was what I used to buy my first sewing machine actually.
have confidence in yourself, it's very likely you would be one of those um, people who hop from different places saying, I don't know it yet, I don't know it yet, I don't know it yet. I see some of them, I see some people come around. What they're doing is good. They only need to settle down and improve on it. But then they go like, ah, I wish I can be like this person. I wish I can be like, which is not a bad idea. You have to have people you want to be like. But there comes a time when you need to start having some level of confidence in yourself so that people can start trusting you with their fabrics. Starting a fashion line requires tenacity, endurance and dedication, just like Valerie Boglo, a Lagos-based fashion designer. I was in school, uh, home economics, yes. I read home economics as my first um, uh, institution, okay? And we had to go do IT, which I decided to come do in a very lovely fashion house. Back then it was Monami. I went to Monami's place. It was just a short period of time I spent in this place, but he opened my eyes a lot to see so many things. At that point, he was um, the designer for Omo Umbi Akini Fessi during the uh, 2005 MBGN story. So I got to meet so many people that I only see on TV. And when I was meeting them, I was like, ah, ah this is the same place. So yes, I he was more of the one that made me see the this is how a fashion designer should be. This is how you should operate. This is these are the work ethics you should practice with. These are the he was more of the one that showed me the ropes then, yes. And over the period I have improved myself seriously. Personal reading, online reading, and um, yes. I've generally made a lot of mistakes over the job as well and improved on. There are ways to go um, requests for internship in places and it comes with an attitude. You, if you're asking for something from me, there's a way you go about it. You have to throw me some perks. I wouldn't want a student who is not serious about it. You come today, you don't come tomorrow. I don't think you're serious. Some fashion houses don't even want to take on babies. I call them babies because when in fashion designing, there are different levels. You can either start today or you started 20 years ago. Okay, so there's a whole gap in between. Now, give them a chance. Let them come in. Let them, once in a while, maybe out of 10 that come asking for internship, if you take three, in a year, it looks good. At least the others would still have a reason why I'm saying this is looking back at that period when I was looking for a place to have my IT. I remember going to so many places and they kept on turning me down, turning me down. In fact, before I got Monami's place, the person that took me to Monami had to really press his buttons. So, I was saying, um, Give them a chance. You never can tell. If Monami didn't open his door for me, this particular interview would not have his name on it.